Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspirations and Star Child Tarot and I'm here today with a collective energy check-in I know you normally see me do them for the feminine and the masculine um, but I felt guided to do a collective one we've just been through the solstice portal the 21st of June um, we've had some very powerful moon energies we've got another moon energy coming up at the beginning of July so I wanted to tap in where the collective energy is right now. So we've got some oracles I pre-shuffled. We're going to clarify. And I've got some other energies, cards I'm going to look at. So where's the collective energy at? We've got happiness. I mean, what a beautiful energy. We've got the dolphins, which all signify joy. We've got the sun. We've got the blue skies. We've got the clouds. We've got the ocean. And the dolphins are leaping for joy. And, you know, in the Northern Hemisphere where I live, we're in the summer months right now. And I'm in the UK and it's been very warm here and very sunny. And, you know, it always makes you feel better. And I think a lot of people are hopefully in, in feeling a lot lighter and much, bright, and much brighter. We've got relaxation. So hopefully people are taking time out to relax, following their body, following, you know, how they're feeling. If you're tired, you know, it's time to relax, to chill out. And we've got courage here. So maybe really working on your courage, maybe wanting to make a change in your life, wanting to move forward and solitude and, and not being afraid to be alone, not being afraid to spend time on your own. You know, sometimes we all need to do that, don't we? To really get in touch with ourselves, to go within, to really, you know, listen to ourselves. What is it that we're trying to achieve? And focus, you're achieving that focus. You know, where are you headed? You know, what, what do you want to achieve in your life? What what are you hoping to manifest? And thriving, yeah. I mean, seeing things, the giraffe is a tall animal. It sees over everything. It's from a higher perspective. And I feel that you're looking at it from a much higher perspective. And we've got some beautiful colours here with the, the orange, the red, the yellow, all the lower chakras here and if you're interested there's a chakra healing on my channels either channel you can find that a very not very long one but a, a chakra healing all you have to do is open up to receive the energy and i feel that you're going to get to that point where you're feeling good you're thriving things are starting to improve and we've got security here so maybe feeling more secure in your world maybe having that Maybe it's about financial security. Maybe it's about home. You know, somehow feeling more secure. Maybe feeling more grounded. And openness, you know, maybe being open with yourself. It all starts with ourselves, doesn't it? Being open with ourselves, having that open um, openness with ourselves. And then we can be open with others. And it's important that we are honest and open. And wonders, seeing the wonders of life. Maybe seeing the wonders of nature. Maybe there's some wonders occurring in your life. We've got, you know, a crystal here. We've got the beautiful blues, the purples. So this represents to me the third eye um, chakra, um, possibly the crown chakra as well, and the throat chakra. Um, so those higher chakras as well. Um, maybe really doing some deep cleansing and clearing on those energies. And we've got delight coming in. And look at the beautiful birds and all the birds. And again, the beautiful colours. We've got the green here of the heart chakra. So heart heart opening, heart, heart awakening. I feel a lot of healing energy, a lot of energy of releasing going on right now in the collective. And people are starting to let go of the past to allow the new to come in, to allow the more positive to come in. And we've got forgiveness. Again, forgiveness work is very powerful right now. You know, it all starts with ourselves. I hope and I know prayer is a very good place to start um, with yourself and other people. Forgive yourself, forgive others. Okay, it's very important. I have a forgiveness meditation as well, visualisation. And illumination, you know, getting illuminated, being open to guidance, um, to inspiration, seeing things maybe in a different way to what you've seen them before. Okay, so let's get some clarification. I want to clarify these energies of the tarot. So we've got the happiness energy there, which is beautiful. And I really hope that resonates for a lot of you because you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be joyful. You deserve to 
have the good good things in life. So for the highest light and love, what is this happiness for the collective talking about? For the highest light and love. Wow, we've got ton of cups. So for some of you, this could involve a relationship, okay? Even if it's just a relationship with yourself, you know, loving yourself is a good place to start and a very important place to start. But for a lot of you, in this renewed, happy energy, you could be attracting a loving relationship to you if you're single. And if you're in a relationship, I feel, you know, you're going to become closer. Um, you're going to really rebuild this connection and maybe go to the next level. But don't forget to relax. We've got relaxation there. Don't forget to relax, to chill out. Yeah, we've got the Eight of Wands. So I think things are going. I feel things are going to start moving forward for you quite quickly soon. So it's important to to have that relaxation time to chill out while you can, because I feel there's going to be movement forward here with the Eight of Wands. It could be communication. It could be movement. It could be following your passions. And yes, we've got courage. Sometimes it takes courage, and we've got the Fool. How beautiful is that? So the fool is that brand new beginning, it's a zero, starting from scratch again and having the courage to take a leap of faith. And as we do that, the universe supports us and, and really, um, you know, catches us, you know. So it, we, it's safe to take a leap of faith. That's what we're here to do, to take a chance. And don't forget to spend that time alone as well. Having that time alone, it's very important we all have that time alone. Yeah, we've got temperance energy. So when you, you know, come into balance in yourself, you know, really balance out your energies, you know, your masculine, your feminine, your dark, your light, your positive, your negative, your thoughts and your heart, you know, your thoughts and your feelings. Um, it's a good place to be in balance. And really, maybe we all need to be alone to do that. And focus on what it is you want. We've got the focus there and we've got magician energy. So I feel with this new moon coming up and it's in the beginning, I think it's a new moon or a full, full moon, whichever moon energy, I've lost track of it to be honest, whichever moon energy it is, you have all the tools at your disposal with the magician energy to manifest your desires. It's all If it's a full moon, it's about releasing. And as I said, I feel there is a lot of releasing going on in the collective. And we need to release the past to allow you know, the new to come in, the, the more positive. And as you do that, we've got the thriving energy. Things are going to improve. And look at that, we've got the star. So don't forget to do any healing you need. Don't forget to, you know, really focus on your own healing. Do what you need to do. Go deep, go within. And as you do this and release, as I said, you will manifest your desires. The star is about a manifestation, our wish fulfillment. So don't forget to wish on a star. Don't forget... Your dreams are important. You deserve to manifest your dreams, your desires. And we've got security coming in here. Wow, we've got the Ace of Cups. So for some of you, it's definitely could be a new relationship coming in, which is going to give you increased security, um, maybe going to make you feel more at peace, more calm, less anxious maybe. But it's also important that we love ourselves and it starts with ourselves and really being that energy of self-love. And we've got openness here. So be open about what it is you want for yourself, you know, to yourself and to others that are important to you. And we've got the Ace of Wands. So I feel this is really getting in touch with your passions, your desires, that creative spark. And as I say, for some, it is a new passionate relationship. That's not just passion, it's love. There's love and passion here. And you're going to see the wonders of the world. You're, you're going to really feel in a really good energy here, a really blissful state, a really happy state, which is a lovely place to be. After a really difficult time, we've got the Empress energy. So, so even if you're man, man or woman, this is feminine energy. So, you know, get out into nature, connect with nature, look at all the animals, the creatures, um, get grounded, ground your energy, get into nature, connect with a tree, hug a tree, you know, be in that receptive energy, be open to receive. And as you do this, as I say, you're going to attract in love and passion and, and new beginnings and, you know, moving forward in your life. And 
you know, this is the energy of, you know, receptivity, nurturing, compassion and love. And there's going to be delight in your life. Yeah, we've got justice. I feel this is divine justice coming in. You've had some really difficult times. And now it's time for delight. It's time for that happiness, that joy. And also working on that forgiveness. We've got the lover's energy here. So this is self-forgiveness. This is forgiveness of anyone else that's hurt you. And as you do this, I feel you're manifesting a soulmate for those of you looking. And for those already in a connection, your bond will deepen. You could go to the next level in this connection. And we've got illumination. You're going to see, have clarity here. We've got judgment energy. So yeah, I feel you're really tapping in to your higher self, to your crown, to your soul star. You're really connecting in, opening up to guidance um, from your guides, your angels. Anything else? Well, we've got Emperor Energy. So we've got the Emperor and the Emperor. So for a lot of you, there are divine unions coming up. And I'm not saying it's going to be in the next month. It could be over the next few months. There's divine unions. You're going to meet your counterpart. If this is somebody returning, you've both done that work on yourself because you're only going to be able to come back if you've done that inner work and to be on the vibration. And again, we've got the sun. So this and the two of cups. Wow. So there's happy, joyful times ahead, especially in love. Okay, so I just want to get some other messages for the collective. So there's beautiful energy here. So tap into this energy. What guidance for the collective? So this is the Earth Alchemy Oracle. Beautiful messages. What messages for the collective right now? What messages for the collective? So we've got the void. Ego shattering, soul fragments and emptying. So like I said, releasing energy and calling back parts of your um, soul. Your soul gets fr fragmented over time through trauma, through past life experiences. And the ego is dissolving. You're not going to be ruled by ego. I mean, we still have an ego, but it's balancing out the ego with our heart space. And I feel a lot of you are going to be doing that. What other messages? Wow, we've got Akasha. Strip back and simplify. Look to your origin. So the Akashic records, the history of all that's ever been for everybody individually and as a planet and even the universe, the history of all that is. So maybe you're going to tap into some past life memories. Um, go back to who you truly are. Do that in a work. Okay, really be guided to do that in a work, to do that clearing and cleansing. Wow, look at that shadow mirror. Deep healing, understanding, and seer. So, yeah, sure, you're going through, a lot of you are going to be going through a deep, deep healing and have a deeper understanding. I can resonate with that myself, actually. And seer, you're going to be seeing things much more clearly as you do that. And we've got way shower. Shake up the system, cellular upgrade. So a lot of you watching this, you are somebody that's here to create the new earth, to co-create the new earth, to shake up the system. The system we've got is not working, it's broken. And also within our bodies, we're changing, our DNA structure is changing from carbon to crystalline. It will take time, but we're going through a transformation and we've got Fertile Ground, Pegasus, Unicorn Energy, Rainbow Child. So some of you could resonate. Okay, you could be Star Seas, Lightworkers, Indigos, Rainbow Child. Um, connect with the Unicorns. Okay, the Unicorns could have some wisdom and guidance for you right now. And we've got Portal, Healing Temple, Astral Travel. So yes, we've just been through that uh, Portal of the Solstice. And deep healing is happening. 5D we've got here as well. Yeah, we're tra we're transmuting energy here. We're moving up to 5D um, individually and as a collective. And don't, don't neglect your healing. And some of you could be astral traveling as well through the dimensions. We are multidimensional beings. And abundance. Wow. Raising your vibration. Light missions. Be activated. Big, sorry, 
raw activations. So yes, abundance, you know, raising your vibration, um, light missions and raw activations. So some of you could resonate with a lifetime in Egypt. Um, we've got com resurrection, commitment, purification and devotion. So again, commitment. So commitment to yourself, but also I feel there's renewed, there's going to be commitments coming in for divine partners, you know, divine unions. There's going to be commitment to each other and to create a new earth and a purification of energy and a devotion, you know, a devotion of creating that new earth and creating new a new way of be being and we've got creativity self-expression life is your canvas yeah don't forget to get creative it's so important you know to be creative in your life it's part of who we are and it's really good for you your well-being it's good for your soul it really helps elevate you especially if you're not feeling great okay get creative in some way so i'm just going to get some final um love yourself messages this is my new deck one of my new decks. Yeah, look at that. Nurture you, pamper you, buy yourself a gift. So don't forget to treat yourself good. Ask your guides and angels for help if you need it. Because they need our permission to come in. Connect with music. It helps raise your vibrations. So, you know, there's lots of great music online. Um, lots of different hertz music, which is really good for healing and, and raising our vibration. To help us sleep, whatever you need. Be open to signs and symbols and messages. What else? Love and nurture your inner child. You know, do that inner child work. Especially if you didn't have a very good childhood. You know, be your parent. You know, parent yourself the way you weren't. Give yourself the love, support, um cuddles um joy happiness you know recreate playful energy maybe you never had that as a child and it's time to give that to yourself now and find like-minded friends family soul family soul tribe so as you change your vibration as you elevate yourself you will attract people like you in your vicinity you will attract people that resonate more with you and you can help encourage and support each other grow. Yeah, play, laugh, sing with your inner child. So don't forget to get lighthearted. And we can see that we are, you know, that the overall energy is, is much happier right now. And know that you're spiritually gifted. So you could become aware of some of your gifts. Maybe you, you're going to come into an, an acknowledgement of some of your gifts. Yeah, again, inner child. So that's important for the collective right now. Collect, connect, love, connect, inner child, connect, love, nurture that part of you. So don't neglect that part of you. It's important. And get out into nature for healing and grounding. So that's very important. And laugh every day. Be silly. Have fun. So, yes, I feel the energy is raising as we individually raise. And it will, every, every person that raises our vibration and gets into a better positive mindset and energy it affects the collective so we each play our part here so i want to send you lots of love and blessings if you enjoy my content please like share subscribe comment and i will see you next time many blessings